Hey guys, it is Wednesday and I'm putting this out the day I make it. It's going to be a one take kind of video. Um, cause to, 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 I can't talk today. Um, there's just like a lot of stuff that I can't really vlog that I'm doing. Um, it's just like a lot of paperwork and stuff to prepare for a scout camp out coming up and things like that. So, um, but I did want to talk to you guys. If you get the Rona, um, shots that I wanted to tell you my experience getting a different one than I usually get. Um, and before I get started with that, I just want to say like disclaimer, I don't really care what anyone chooses to do. I don't have an opinion on it. And like, if you choose not to get it, I don't care. I have it. At this point, I know it's protected me personally, so I don't care what anyone else does, if that makes sense. Um, and you shouldn't care what other people do. I don't understand why people get so bothered by the choices that other people make that doesn't affect them in the sense that they got a like, it doesn't affect them in the slightest. But people get so mad at it, and then they make it political, and I just... Let's not do that, okay, if that makes sense. So I wanted to tell you guys my experience in case you haven't gotten or if you plan to get the new Omicron. I'm just going to do this instead of keep saying um, the other word because the um, like YouTube and all platforms are weird about it still. So anyways, like I said, don't care what anyone does either way. I don't have an opinion. But for those of you that might be thinking about getting the newest one, which is variant, like for like the variants that came with Omicron, I was going to tell you my experience because I got it last night. Um, and my experience because for all of my, um, I've gotten, let's see, I got Pfizer for the original set and a booster a year ago. And this booster was the new one with the Omicron specific created for that um, because that's like all there really is anymore is that version of Miss Rona out there. So I got Pfizer for all of them and when I talked to my pharmacy because I needed to get my flu shot too, we just have so much going on from this point forward um, like every weekend to something until December. Like my weekends are full until literally December December 10th is the only thing in my calendar I have left of like full packed weekends so up until that weekend and then after that it's like the holidays not doing anything anyways if that makes sense so the rest of my year basically is packed full and um, after coming off of uh, the flu and all that stuff which I was really surprised that for having the flu, Jackson didn't get that sick. Really, it was croup that got him the sickest, um, and he wasn't sick very long. Um, I guess his uh, flu shot from last year was still kind of working, and it did work over the summer for him and Justin because when I got the flu, which is so weird in the summer, they were fine. It was so weird. I don't know what strand I got, but my doctor said most likely I got the one that they didn't use in the vaccine that year. But I also isolated like immediately when I started feeling off. So I don't even know what Strand Jackson had. But um, so now that I finished, I took um, preventative Tamiflu because of my lungs and my heart. I just really cannot be getting the flu. You know what I mean? So I just lose my straws in the way. Sorry. Um, so I got that at the same time. I finally got my flu shot. Long-winded way to say I finally got my flu shot. I went into my pharmacist and I just asked, like I Googled first, it said it was safe, then I asked my pharmacist, am I getting safety at both in the same time? He's like, yeah, it is. You just might be more tired and stuff, having both of them. And then that's when he told me they only had Moderna. And I was like, ooh, because <laughs> I'd only had Pfizer and I've always heard that Moderna has more like side effects while it's like delivering the antibodies to your system. And I've always heard that side effects aren't necessarily a bad thing. It means that your body is going to be really geared up to fight it. So with the flu and also the Rona, I 
have, um, I just realized I said the B word. I'm probably going to beat that out. <laughs> I'm overthinking every single thing I say because that's how ridiculous all this has gotten. Both ways. Both ways. It's gotten crazy. Um, so with both those specific, I always just get really tired and like my arm hurts the next day. That's it, right? So with this um, one, I got them in the same arm so they'd only be one arm super tired. <laughs> And then I, the pharmacist said I'd probably be really sleepy if that's usually the only side effect I have sooner than usual because I got both. But I actually didn't have that happen this time. It was kind of weird. Um, it didn't happen right away. Like the immediate sleepiness that I tend to get from that. And then my, um, my arm is sore, but it's not as sore as it was for the first Miss Rona or even the flu shot sometimes. So... I was really surprised and um, like it's sore don't get me wrong but for having both of them in the same arm I really thought it was gonna be like way worse I am extremely tired today though these are like the only side effects I really had um, but I honestly think when it comes to my dog just knocked over a bunch of stuff when it comes to, to, to today I think the tiredness is actually the fact that I didn't sleep well last night and I didn't sleep well because I even woke up and took my temperature because I'm like, is this a fever? They said you might get a low grade fever. But I was sweat drenched, like completely just drenched in sweat last night and it kept waking me up. It felt really gross. Um, and so that's really the only side effect I had. It was like when you have, if you're a woman, when you have hormone sweats, that's what it was like. So that's the only experience I've had. Um, <clears throat> and I was really surprised because I heard even with uh, Pfizer, some people I know said that they had like the chills and they felt bad the next day. I haven't even felt any of that any time for any of them, even Moderna now. I mean, maybe that was like a slow grade fever or something last night doing that, but it's fine today. I'm just extremely tired, which is why I plan to just do paperwork stuff today. And tomorrow I'll vlog and run errands with you guys. Um, one misconception that even has come from one of my friends that's kind of a conspiracy theorist person, like people always ask me, first it was, did your bypass cause your heart? No, my bypass didn't cause my heart issues. I've had heart issues since my early 20s. My heart issues, if you follow me for a long time, I've talked about like even when I was pregnant with Jackson, that's why Jackson had to be born early. Um, and then like when my heart went into like a nosedive like failure, it was before there was, I said it again, before there was a, for Miss Rona. So I actually didn't get that, the, the set, and until like after I had started tanking and my heart's actually improved. It's like had no negative effect. As sad as it is sometimes, it feels like people like that want it to be that. And that's like the same people that feel like they want people that don't agree with them to suffer and I don't understand that either way but it it irritates me especially like when it's somebody that is your friend saying it because then it's like you want that for me like you want to be so right that you think that that would happen but unfortunately for them wanting that I guess is what it feels like um <clears throat> that's not the reason my heart actually improved since then so and I'm four deep <laughs> so do you do whatever you want for me I did end up getting breakthrough but I was barely a half a day I thought I had allergies and the only reason I tested when I had Delta breakthrough was because of um, with uh, Texas Children's as often as we're at Texas Children's Hospital for Jackson's therapies there is a lot of vulnerable kids there and so anytime I felt off I would just test because even though they require you to wear like masks in the hospital and stuff, I still would never want to go in that environment carrying something, knowingly carrying something or feeling off without knowing for sure it wasn't that because of all the vulnerable kids. So that being said, when I had tested, it was like a half a day of allergies. And then I found out it was Delta and um, I didn't get sick. But what did happen, just to show you how much it affects your heart, um, Miss Rona, before there was a my cardiologist, I was always his youngest patient. And once Rona happened, um, before this, 
make that clear. There, he has got so many, so many, so many younger patients now that have like literal heart damage from Rona. And um, <clears throat> that was before. Now it's gone down. Now that once this came out, his load of new young patients went down. And I'm just giving you firsthand experience facts from my unbiased cardiologist. <laughs> okay. So um, that being said, when I got it, it just, just to show you how much it can affect your heart, if you're a heart patient especially, I didn't have any symptoms that were like, I don't know, breathing issues or anything like that, right? But my heart got thrown off. The rhythm got messed up again after being in the right rhythm for months and months and months on medication and they had to up my medication for about a month. Um, somebody I know that, uh, like also has heart problems had the same thing happen to them it messed up their rhythm and it kind of was a slide backwards for me and that was with an extremely tiny mild breakthrough of delta and actually feeling sick only lasted for a half a day like i said wasn't even sick felt like allergies um and my cardiologist my electro infusies a special kind of cardiologist he was like, well, that just tells me that for sure, had you got it before, you'd have been in a slab in the morgue. And, and he was like, I'm just so glad that, you know, there was for you and all my other heart patients. So anyways, like I said, don't really care either way. This is my experience <clears throat> and this is my life choices and you have your own and I don't care. So anyways. My point in telling you guys all this is this is why I um, I know some people that are like, well, I've already been boosted and this and that, and they're not going to get that one, and that's fine. I don't care what they do. But this is part of the reason it's important for me to get mine. Um, <clears throat> since then, I have, since, mm, and then the breakthrough, I waited about six months, no, because it was a year after my first one I had breakthrough. And then after that, I waited about six months, I think. I got boosted I can't remember the details but the uh, with that one I since have been exposed multiple times to Rona especially um, Omicron which a lot of people had breakthrough on that one and I've never gotten again so the chances are I could have never got it again you know if like my immune system was that built up with antibodies but I don't want to take that chance because my best friend's wedding coming up I'm leaving town and going to Mexico all these things so I was like I need to get the flu taken care of just to be safe because everything happening in the next few months and I need to get that Rona just in case because what I would hate to happen is I get breakthrough again right before her wedding or our trip anyways I just wanted to talk about that today because that was my experience. I was really thinking that the Moderna was going to make me feel, I don't know, like worse. Like I was going to have a harder time with it, if that makes sense. Because so many people I know were not a fan of how they felt with Moderna. Um, and yeah, I didn't have that problem. And today I feel good except for being tired. And I'm really shocked that my arm isn't that sore. But I just wanted to share that because, like I said, not everyone might choose to get that one but if you are thinking about it I wanted to share my experience especially being my first time having that specific company's version um so yeah that's that also if you like Duncan um this is all I've left but they put the peanut butter swirl out the peanut butter cup one and so the last couple years I haven't liked it it was either too much of this like dark chocolate taste or too much peanut butter no chocolate taste and this year I feel like they actually like nailed it in the perfect so this isn't one of my favorite swirls but I do like to try new ones or when they come back out because every year they can be slightly different so I probably won't get it again just because it's not like one of my favorites it's not super sweet one of the reasons I like Duncan is because of their sugar to carb to pump of swirl ratio with how sweet it can taste even though it's like 12 grams whereas some syrups I have it feels like I have to have way more 
um, carbs and sugar load to get that sweetness. So that's why I like the duck and swirl. Like obviously I'm getting sugar, but like I don't need as much to get like a sweet taste. And when it's a swirl that's not sweet, it was a tongue twister. When it's a swirl that's not sweet, it's like not really hitting the spot for me. <laughs> so it's actually pretty good this year. I wanted to taste it. Um, but so if you don't like sweeter stuff, it might be like a good option for you. But I, um, I'm really looking forward to the Christmas flavors. There's like a cookie butter one coming out that I'm interested in trying. But just wanted to, those are my two reviews of Moderna and Duncan. <laughs> like, anyways, I have so much stuff to do, so I'm going to go do it. And tomorrow I will take you along with me as I shop and load the car and pull my camping stuff out and prepare for camping. I also am trying to decide if I'm going to get a lash refill before or after. My lashes don't look that bad. I do have a gap right here. Um, but I don't know. Like... I don't want to be looking like it doesn't matter because we're going camping it doesn't really matter but I also don't want to start looking like a Cynthia doll <laughs> like in the meantime and like but then the other part of me is like if I get a refill and it's like really windy or something I lose more lashes than normal so I'm gonna make that decision probably um tomorrow but I won't be doing that tomorrow tomorrow you guys are gonna run errands with me and I'll show you guys my camping gear as I load it and we'll have fun anyways I hope you guys have a great hump day bye